Imagine that you're a tourist visiting Germany for the first time. You're driving on the Autobahn, the famous German highway system, and you're amazed by how fast the cars around you are driving. As you speed down the highway, you begin to wonder, why are there no speed limits on the Autobahn? One famous German Autobahn is the A7, also known as the Autobahn 7 or Bundesautobahn 7. The A7 is the longest Autobahn in Germany, stretching over 960 kilometers or 597 miles from the Danish border in the north to the Austrian border in the south. The A7 connects major German cities such as Hamburg, Hanover, Kassel, and Ulm, making it an important transportation route for both commercial and personal use. It is also a key route for international transportation, linking Germany to Scandinavia, Eastern Europe, and beyond. Despite its length and importance, the A7 has several sections with speed limits due to construction or safety concerns. However, much of the Autobahn does not have a speed limit, and drivers can enjoy the freedom to drive as fast as they feel comfortable. The German Autobahn is more than just a highway system, it's a cultural icon that represents the ingenuity, engineering, and economic power of Germany. The Autobahn's history dates back to the early 20th century, when the idea of a high-speed highway system was first proposed in Germany. The first section of the Autobahn was built in the 1930s, and the highway system grew rapidly in the years leading up to World War II. The Autobahn was originally designed as a means of transportation for military vehicles and personnel, and it played a significant role in the German military's ability to move troops quickly during the war. After the war, the Autobahn underwent significant reconstruction and expansion as part of the country's rebuilding efforts. The highway system played a crucial role in the post-war economic boom, helping to connect German cities and facilitate the movement of goods and people. One of the most notable features of the German Autobahn is the absence of a general speed limit. This policy has been in place since the 1930s, and it has become a source of fascination and controversy for many people around the world. The no speed limit policy on the Autobahn was established in the 1950s during Germany's post-war economic boom. With the country's economy recovering and more people owning cars, there was a growing demand for faster transportation. The policy was seen as a way to meet this demand and encourage economic growth. Over the years, the policy has evolved and changed in response to safety concerns and environmental considerations. Some sections of the Autobahn now have speed limits, particularly in urban areas and construction zones. However, the general policy of no speed limit remains in place for much of the highway system. The German Autobahn's no speed limit policy has both environmental and economic impacts. On the one hand, the policy has contributed to air pollution and increased carbon emissions. The high speeds at which cars travel on the Autobahn means that they consume more fuel and emit more pollutants into the atmosphere. In fact, some studies suggest that emissions from cars on the Autobahn are up to 50% higher than on other highways in Europe. The environmental impact of the Autobahn's no speed limit policy is a significant concern for many people, particularly in light of the global climate crisis. Some have called for the introduction of speed limits as a way to reduce emissions and improve air quality. On the other hand, the no speed limit policy has also had positive economic impacts. The Autobahn is a crucial transportation route for both commercial and personal use, and it has played a significant role in Germany's economic development. The highway system helps to connect cities and facilitate the movement of goods and people, which is essential for the functioning of the country's economy. Furthermore, the Autobahn's no-speed limit policy has also contributed to Germany's reputation as a leader in the automotive industry. The country's car manufacturers have used the Autobahn as a testing ground for their vehicles, and the high speeds at which cars can travel on the highway have pushed manufacturers to develop faster and more advanced cars. The German Autobahn is renowned for its high quality of engineering and design. The highway system is designed to accommodate high speeds, heavy traffic, and a variety of different vehicles. The engineering and design of the Autobahn have contributed to its success and its reputation as one of the best highways in the world. One of the most impressive features of the Autobahn is its smooth, flat road surface. 
The highway is constructed with a thick layer of high-quality asphalt that provides excellent traction for vehicles traveling at high speeds. The road surface is also designed to reduce noise pollution and provide a smooth, comfortable ride for drivers. Another important feature of the Autobahn is its wide lanes. The lanes on the Autobahn are significantly wider than those on most other highways, which allows for more comfortable driving at high speeds. The extra width also allows for safer passing, reducing the risk of accidents on the highway. The Autobahn is also designed with a variety of safety features to protect drivers and passengers. For example, the highway has a system of crash barriers that help to contain vehicles in the event of an accident. The barriers are made from high-strength steel and are designed to absorb impact, reducing the risk of injury or death. In addition to these features, the Autobahn also has a well-designed system of exits and entrance ramps. The exits and ramps are carefully designed to allow for safe and efficient merging and lane changes, even at high speeds. This design helps to reduce congestion and improve traffic flow, making the Autobahn an efficient and effective transportation system.